the Innovative Smart Grid Technologies Conference officially open. Thank you very much. ISGT Europe 2011 is an IEEE Power and Energy Conference hosted by the University of Manchester and the Manchester Central Convention Centre. Over the course of three days, the conference held over 60 lectures and tutorials from a wide array of disciplines. It is an opportunity to network with the brightest minds in the power and energy industry. ISGT Europe aims to help the smart grid practitioners in industry and academia increase our understanding of how existing power systems will evolve into future grids that can absorb increasing levels of intermittent, renewable and low carbon energy sources, and more fully utilise the energy balancing capabilities of dynamically controlled loads. The conference is the ideal forum for power systems experts, T&D engineers, plant designers, IT consultants, researchers and more recent participants to discuss state-of-the-art innovations in the increasingly important smart grid sector. Firstly, I'd like to welcome you to the second annual IEEE Smart Grid Innovation Conference being held here in Manchester, the birthplace of the first industrial revolution. You are all brought here to discuss the latest technological and operational innovations that will help deliver smarter electricity systems to domestic and industrial consumers. And as innovators, you have a vital contribution to make. I'm sure many of you will be aware that the UK is taking action now to invest in a smarter electricity future. The Electricity Market Reform White Paper set out our high-level strategy for the future network and committed to a more detailed electricity systems policy paper next year. I heartily support your efforts to develop innovative new technologies to deliver affordable, secure and sustainable energy to power our economies and enrich people's lives. I wish you all a very productive and informative conference and look forward to hearing all about it. Manchester is arguably the birthplace of the first coal-based industrial revolution and now we welcome you to the start of the low-carbon revolution. We are delighted that ISGT Europe 2011 attracted from all parts of the world over 230 high quality papers, keynote speakers, panellists, exhibitors and sponsors. This is the total primary energy that's consumed by the sources. You don't need to look at all of the numbers, but what is important is that from 73 to 2009 the total energy has doubled in just over 30 years. The electricity production is even more interesting. The total production of electricity from 73 to 2009 tripled, whereas within court it only doubled for total energy, so we are becoming an electric world. That is good, and for those of us that are electrical engineers, and specifically young ones, that is certainly something to reflect and rejoice about, but it also means that our responsibility increases very much as well. The conference achieved an almost perfect mix of technical papers and presentations from manufacturers, users and academia and attracted a large number of sponsors and exhibitors. This balance of expertise and skills ensured ISGT was an excellent forum for informed discussions about developing solutions today for the sustainable grids of tomorrow, the theme of the conference. It's my intention now to address uh, those uh, movements uh, which are more typical at university, as it is known, the uh, collaboration between universities and uh, industry is uh, one of the uh, winning options moving forward, particularly to future. Not only did the conference hold host to over 350 presentations organised into regular papers, panel sessions and keynote presentations, but also held several networking events in the evenings, including a welcome ceremony at the Manchester Museum of Science and Industry. It really gives me great pleasure to welcome you here to this museum. This museum is changing the way young people see science and technology. It's, it's helping people understand the history of Manchester and what Manchester has contributed to the world. Firstly, thank you very much to the University of Manchester for hosting the conference today. It's great to see so many delegates from a wide variety of uh, international locations coming here to see how important this area in smart grids is uh, to sustainable cities and, and indeed the global economy. And a dinner sponsored by Electricity Northwest at the famous Midland Hotel. For those of you that don't know us, Electricity Northwest is the distribution network operator. 
for the Northwest of England. And we're delighted to be one of the sponsors of the conference and host for this evening's dinner. Just a few words from me before we start the dinner. Um, I don't think we can overstate how important a conference such as this is. Our industry is about to go through the most profound change that it has seen for decades as we facilitate the move to the low carbon economy. We can see around the world governments looking to see how to compete the, the low carbon emissions. They seek to decarbonize generation, decarbonize heat, and decarbonize transport. That is going to bring a profound change to businesses such as Electricity Northwest as we see load grow perhaps doubling out to 2050. The second IEEE PES ISGT Europe 2011 conference marked the beginning of a truly revolutionary annual conference, where over the years to come the greatest and brightest minds in the field of smart grids will be able to meet and discuss, leading us to a carbon-free future. And without further ado, I'll declare this officially closed and wish you all safe travels back to wherever you're going, be it today or later this week. Please travel safely and I uh, hope you all enjoyed this conference very much. And I'd like to close with one final round of applause for all the organizers that put this great conference together.